Hello, hello, hello. I am here. <laughs> I always sit there. I've said this every time. I always sit there and go, oh, it's about five, ten minutes to go. I'll take it slack. And then when you try and do it, it just doesn't work properly. Um, so hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to another Watch Me Wednesday. Let me just change my settings so I can see um, if there's any of you commenting. So if you are there, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, here we are, another Watch Me Wednesday. Um, last week I was in full on launch mode for the ultimate card making course. Um, I have to say it like that because that's how it should be said. <laughs> Um, and I'm excited to get started with that next week for all of those who joined um, up for that. Um, so there wasn't a Watch Me Wednesday, um, but I'm back, I'm back, I'm here. Um, I did update my blog last Saturday, um, if you hadn't seen that. Um, let's just um, introduce myself. So hello, my name is Natalie O'Shea, um, and you can find out lots more about me at www.thecardmakingacademy.co.uk. Um, that's where you'll find out wh who I am, what I am, what I do. Um, so that kind of saves me going through it on here. But hello, welcome to my Facebook page. And let's, um, ah, I just, <laughs> I've, I'm changing back to a software I used to use. So software and technology has been a nightmare at the moment. So I'm back and it, I keep forgetting things. And I was like, oh, I've got one watcher. No, that's screen one. <laughs> oh dear, it's one of those days, one of those days. But say hello so I know you're there. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, I am a stamping up demonstrator as well as teaching people how to make handmade cards. All the products that I use um, are from a company called Stamping Up. So the inks, the cards, the die cuts, everything. Um, just because oh, after nearly 30 years of card making um, and crafting, um, I just love the quality of the products and the coordination and you'll see that today. So if there is anything that tickles your fancy, you can see in the description, um, there's links. So even if you want to go and have a nose, you don't have to go and buy. Uh, it'd be nice if you did. That'd be lovely. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> but um, it's, if you want to go and find out a bit more information, how, you know, what did the stamp set look like? What is it? How much is it? Um, let me see other samples made with these things. Um, that's where you can go and have a look as well. And um, so the links are the best thing for that in the description. But www.natalieoshea.stampingup.net is my um, shop address. So again, if you're looking for inks so or you're looking for card and paper or anything like that, if you are in, um, I know you said Australia, but no, Austria, France, Germany, the Netherlands, or the UK, then you can purchase those off me. If you are in America or Canada, then you can go to stampingup.com um, and find your local demonstrator. You won't find Stamping Up products um, in a craft shop or, or online. Um, and if you're in uh, New Zealand or Australia, then you can also go to stampingup.com. For the rest of you, this is just inspiration. Um, perhaps you'll learn some techniques or something um, that I do that... Um, I was just seeing if we had anybody. I can't see anybody. It's most unlike because I'm wondering if I need to go and check that I'm in the right place. Um, yeah, just use this as inspiration. Perhaps the colours that you may you may choose or the layout of the card. And you may just use something that you've got as well. I try my very best not to use kind of crafting jargon so that if you are new to card making, then you are very welcome. Um, and yeah, I'm in the card today. I can t teach you how to tweak it so that... Um, you can make it without all the latest and greatest in a whole stash of products. So I am going to go and check that I'm in the right place because it's unusual for me to have not had a comment yet. So <laughs> bear with me. Hold on. Don't look at my mess on my table. I've got so many classes going out at the moment. Uh, where are we? Let's go Facebook. And... see that people people are watching so hello <laughs> i just wanted to make sure i've got boxes and boxes galore going out there um, which is great i've got team retreats going on and um, card club going on and classes going on um but yes we are in the right place let's say hello hello maybe i just maybe the comments just aren't coming through but there we go let's let's see um, so, what have I got for you today? So, we only have a couple of weeks left of celebration. 
Um, so you can find out more about that. Um, I'm not going to go through it all, but it's, it's free stuff when you purchase £45 or more from my online store, which is still there on the screen. I'll take that off now. Uh, but if you go there, you can purchase £45 of anything you like and pick some goodies for free. Um, I'm not actually using, I'm thinking, am I using any today? I'm not actually using any today. Um, but I have been updating my blog every Saturday for the last six weeks. Um, and I've been focusing on a particular celebration item that you can pick for free. Um, you can also earn extra stamp sets um, for hosting a party or for placing a large order. And if you join um, to be a demonstrator, and you don't have to do this, a lot of our team um, of 200 plus are just buy for themselves or share a catalogue with their friends and family. Um, and that's it. Um, so it's up to you what you kind of do with it. But there's an offer. It's, it's always £130 of whatever you want for £99. Um, and that's normally, and that's a great deal anyway. Why wouldn't you want to do that? There's no PMP on that either. So, um, yes, yeah, so you've saved yourself another five. So it's like 35 quid for free. Um, so you kind of do that any time of the year. But during celebration, there are 12 bundles. And they vary in price from about 30 quid to about 56 quid that you can add for free as well. So if you do have a big Stampin' Up! shopping list, um, or you do sit there and think, oh, I'll give it a go, what have I got to lose? You really have nothing to lose. I am Mrs. Cynical, um, and there really is, there's no, no one's horrible to you or anything like that if you choose that it's not for you. Um, you don't have to give your starter kit back or pay full price or anything like that. There really is no risk in taking it for a test drive as you like if you like um trying it out seeing if it's for you um join today for example and what are we in we are in september so you have until the end of december you'll have four months um to, to try it out and see if it tickles your fancy and if it doesn't you just go back to being a customer in um january so there we go right but let's do other things that's celebration and um, what else we're gonna do today is also the last day for card club so i have got um and i've whizzed this through but just to give you an idea of what card club is so card club launches on the first of every month ish sometimes the second if i'm late <laughs> and uh, i send out a kit basically in the post so you have to be in the uk for this and um, but if you are anywhere else in the world you can get access to the instructions in the video where i show you what to make so you can either Use things that you've got again, or, or use the ideas as um, inspiration. But let me change cameras. This camera, it's all a bit, it's blue skies and actual sunshine out there, but it all looks a bit dark in here. I don't quite know what's going on here. I'm gonna change my lighting, but let's, so let me, <laughs> I've got bits everywhere. So this is this month's card club. So how cute is this? So this is what they'll be making. You get to make eight, so you get to make two of each of these. Um, and I'm just giving you a little, little trial now, and you sit there and think, oh, how lovely. They are the cute, cute, cutest. Um, so that is what this month's card club is, two, making two each of those. But if you kind of say, well, that's all very well. But if you join with a subscription, it's just £25 a month. Now, Sometimes, some months, the postage is £4 just on its own. But let's give you an idea of what comes in a kit. So, look, here is September 21 Card Club. So this is what goes out <laughs> so, uh, uh, to... Oh, no, come on. So this goes out the last week of the month. So I'm ahead of myself this month, which is good. Um, and I did just want to grab... Oh, there we go. So... What's included in the kit? So all the card that you need. So all the different colours of card that you need are included in the kit. You also get pattern paper. Now this can be 6 by 6 pattern paper, 12 by 12 pattern paper. It can be quarter packs, half packs, <laughs> full packs, depending on what else is in each kit. Each month it's different, but that's for this month. That's the pattern paper. You also get your eight envelopes. So nice, high quality, nice, touchy-feely um, envelopes envelopes this month we have embossing folders so this is a double pack of embossing folders with the patterns on here also a pack of genial gems and also a pack of um, a reel of ribbon now if you add all of this up it's a lot more than 25 pounds um it's a lot more than 21 if you take the postage off as well and um, just because i give you almost the products we include um are for cost value and there's also as well um, a die cut pack. So all the die cuts that you need. So for example, here we go. This is what we need for this month. 
Um, they're all done and they're all packaged for you and that is the kit. So eight cards, four designs, two of each design and it means you can give one and you can keep one. So that's good, isn't it? But last day is, um, is today for the turtle class. And um, so just kind of to keep celebrating the turtles, I can't find my card. <laughs> <laughs> let me just go so you don't get the turtle stamp set or punch or anything like that well i need, I need that punch today actually oh where are you there you are um so there's the punch and there's the stamp set so that's what i've used but i mean let's let's be fair yes these are very cute but if this wasn't a turtle it could be anything the layout and, and the design and the ribbon and the pattern and the colors could be used for anything this could be a flower it could be a house it could be a bird a balloon and anything that you like so um he is very cute but you don't have to have that but what i do do is i offer the additional items that i've used in my examples at a discounted price to card club members as well so definitely worth having a look at you can see a link in the description about card club and you can join us next month i have to say next month is super cute um you can't sign up until the first of next month, but I want to say, I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting there going, mm, what is it? What is it? Is it what I think it is? Oh, it's not in there. I oh, know it's not in there. Hold on. Hold on. I want to say it's penguins. Oh, gosh. Come on, penguins. Yes. October card club is penguins. Shall I give you a sneaky peek at one of those cards? Oh, I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't planning on doing this. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh dear oh dear let's show you this one so th this is not now this is this is the next one but how cute is this look at that so we are christmas and we i'm, I'm doing the whole cute cutesy at the moment aren't i um so there we go it, this is what we, i think we're doing next time don't quote me on that i'm trying to think now I've got classes and cl club coming out my ears. No, card club is penguins, definitely. Yes, just check in. Oh, goodness me. See, we are off. we're starting Christmas um, because it'll be October, end of October by the time you get those. So, right, let's get, let's get rid of those. But what are we making today? I mean, we're 12 minutes in. I can't see anyone's comments. I don't know if you are commenting. Let me go and have a look over here quickly. I'm done. Um... Enjoy the technology. Mm, can't see. Anyway, I'd love for you to say hello if you are there. I might just be talking to myself. I know lots of people watch these back later, so it's all good. So what are we going to be making this today? How cute is that? How cute is that? Oh my goodness, I'm in love. I'm in love. So I made a card two weeks ago. Um, I don't have to hand, which was one of the pinwheel tower cards. I did it in A6 size. Um, and so I used similar colourings and things, but this time we're just doing a normal A6 card. So A6 is for those not in North America. And um, that's one else kind of standard card size. And um, I've gone done lots of bits already. Look, I've cut all this. <laughs> so you're not going to be sitting here watching and waiting me for me forever. Um, but lots of layers, like a bit of layer. And I love this pattern paper. So this pattern paper is free um, as a host benefit. So it means that once you spend an order or get a club uh, together and you order £150 worth of products, you start getting money for free. Um, and this pack of paper, which is like this thick um, and 12 by 12, you can get for £17. So on a £150 order, you'll get given £15 to spend. So this whole pack would cost you two quid. Obviously, if you spend a little bit more, It'd be free so if you spent 170 pounds you could get it for free um but i do like a flash of black so when i have bright colors like this i do like a little flash of black um now these instructions will be on the blog later this afternoon so once this video is uploaded i will do a blog post and i will put all the dimensions on so i don't tend to go on um this video otherwise we'll be here all day and um, plus obviously if you are in america these are metric sizes i am in the uk so we have a couple of layers there and then we have this so this and again it's black just to make it stand out and i love these dies these are one of my favorite dies they're called stitch so sweetly 
um, you have all these scallop rectangles that work well together and then you have all these labels of different um, sizes and shapes as well that all work together great for sentiments great for central panels as well so i think that's the biggest that is the biggest one there um, and then you can layer so we literally have a black border um, and that's what we're going to be doing our um, design on and then i've I've picked the granny apple green just because I love it. It's a nice bright green. It's in the pattern paper. It's the colour of a turtle or tortoise. Um, and there's my three layers that again I've cut that are going to layer up for that sentiment. I've already done the hat. <laughs> I've done the hat so you didn't have to sit here and watch me cut that out because um, that would be painful. Um, but I am going to do the, um, we're going to do the grass, we're going to stamp the grass and colour the grass, we're going to do the bird, we're going to do the turtle, um, and it's all good. Now what did I do with that twine? There it is. So this twine, great black and white twine, comes in a pack with um, a red stitched ribbon um, that's part of the pet suite in the main annual catalogue. Um, so love that. Oh, I've just realised I don't think that's on my... Um, list of things I've used but there we go if you look at twine I'm sure it'll be in there so should we get started let's let's do some um let's do some things do some things right okay so first of all I'm going to do this I'm just going to stick the pattern paper to the piece of black card um if you were less wasteful than me you could cut out the middle bit or do some die cutting or punching out of that because you're not going to see that but for me today, I'm just going to leave that as it is. I tend to use a wet glue um, when I'm sticking paper to cards, just because um, I've, I've used the tiniest of border here, and I know I'm going to get it wrong. So it gives me like a couple of seconds, not even a couple of seconds, about a second, to wiggle my paper and make sure it's in the right place. So there we go. Now I'm not going to stick that on. This is a base card. Um, I've cut down a sheet of A4 into A5 and just folded that in half. That's what I'm going to go on. But to start with, I'm going to put some um, put my twine round. It's a nice thick twine, so that's good. So what do I want it round? I want once, twice, and I think once more. Three times. I'm not too worried what, at this moment how long I am or anything like that. I can always go down to two if I've cut it too short or anything like that. But this should, oh, I can't grab it. There we go. Oh, not left myself too much there, but there we go. Right, and it's up to you whether you like your twine crossed over, whether you like it in lines, whatever you like. I always tend to do a knot first. So that I'm keeping it tense and taut. And there we go. And that, now I can sit there and play around with it. I can see what are things twisted over. And in fact, that one is, so I am... A little bit OCD and therefore I don't <laughs> like mine twisted um, so there we go so I can now move it up and down I can move it side to side all is good I can space it out I can put it close together whatever I want but let's do just a little bow so just like shoelaces and then you can pull those ends just to make it a little bit smaller if you want to that's it, and then I'm going to trim those off. Don't need to trim that one much. So that is that, and that is going. I might move it over the other side, in fact, like that. Ta da! <laughs> it's what I made earlier, and it's around about the middle. And do you know what? That's it. Let's get rid of that bit there. So I am going to. Uh, this is actually put on dimensionals, uh, which I'm actually at the end of a. a Pack. so I'm just going to do this because this is perfect uh, I might have to do that a little bit like that so this is just the outside of it but waste not want not so I'm going to put that one there I'm going to put that one there and then by the looks of it I can whoop, whoop. there we go Look at that, and that's not wasted. Let's put that one a little bit. Oh, there we go. Um, and then I might just get a whole new pack. Have I got one out there? There we go. So these stamping dimensionals are just 3D foam tape. Um, you get 300 in a pack, three sheets of 100 each. And so I just need one of those. Because I just tend to put, even though it's like plenty, 
um, I just tend to make sure that it doesn't basically um, bend in the middle. So let's get rid of all of these. So that's now stuck to the card. And I now need to peel the paper off so that it will stick to my base card. There we go. Oh, that one's done. <laughs> that one's done. That one's done. I think we're all there. Yes, we're all sticky. Okay, so I'm going to bring my base card in. And I know, again, there isn't a very big border here, so I'm going to place it down, but I'm not going to push it down. I'm just going to... There we go. Yeah, and when I'm happy... I'll move that over a little bit. So it will still pick up a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, this is when you've put so much 3D foam tape on. It's like, ah. There we go. I only wanted it a smidge. Right, there we go. So you can see now I've got a nice white, tiny white border around my tiny black border. Here's my bow. All is good with the world. I can still move that up and down in between where I've got my um, dimensionals on the back. I can also move it round. So if I want my bow a little bit more over there, I can do that because that's not stuck down with any of that dimensionals. Okay, so I could also do my bit here, and this is on dimensionals as well. Good job I got out another pack. Now do remember, if you are sending this through the post, the thicker you make your cards, the more it's gonna cost you to post them. So that's your choice. So you could do this flat if you wanted to. Okay, so I'm putting this centrally. I'm just using my eye. I want the top and the bottom to be equal, and I want these two to be equal as well. I want my ribbon to be straight because it's going to be more difficult to move once I stick this down. But so I'm just I'm eyeballing it. Now, if you're not confident eyeballing it, then get your ruler out and measure it. But do you know what? I'm quite happy with that. It's not going to be perfect but it's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to one side for a moment and then I'm gonna do my happy birthday. So this is a really nice font. So you've got, <laughs> you're totally loved. Hello little one, so it could be good for um, new babies. Forever friends, just for your friends. Happy belated birthday, sorry I would slow. Perfect. So this is a photopolymer stamp set. Um, it's just like this. It means that the um, stamps are made of photopolymer, polymer but it also means that they are see-through. Um, so I have to stick it to something because I couldn't put it in the ink and then try and stamp like that. It would just be a nightmare. <laughs> so I get an acrylic block. What I tend to do is I tend to put these down as I'm going to stamp them, try and make them kind of straight, and then use the lines as well to get that as straight as I can. That way at least... I'm as straight as I can be. So black, we have gone for the sentiment. So I'm just putting some ink on my stamp. Now, if you find that you don't get a good clear photo uh, of image or a sentiment, sorry, a stamped image with you when you're stamping with photopolymer, back in back in photopolymer never used to exist as a, as a stamp. We used to have red rubber and sponge. So sometimes just putting something like a mouse mat, something with a little bit of give, a little bit of sponge or something underneath that will just help you get a better image. Um, now these stamps are great quality um, and I don't think I'm going to have a problem. I might have a problem stamping straight, especially when I can't see right over the top, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm just holding that in place. I'm not pushing it so hard that I'm trying to get through to the table. I'm not wibbling it or wobbling it. Um, just in case I've got ink around the edges of my stamp, I'm just keeping it and there we go. Look at that. A good quality ink, good quality stamp, good quality card. That is what is your three top, or my three top tips um, for a good stamped image. And that doesn't take long to dry. So I'm literally gonna stick it down now. I've got a little bit of granny apple green here. So we're going on that first. Can you see me do that? Yeah, you can just about see me do that. So again, tiny borders here. I normally do about half a centimetre, sort of a, a quarter of an inch, but, um, oh, wrong one. I've gone tiny on this, but I do like it. Just a sliver, sliver. I can't see anyone's comments, so I'm really sorry. As I say, joys of technology. 
Oh, there's no one there. <laughs> right, so that's my happy birthday. I'm going to put that to one side for the moment because I'm going to bring in this section here. So this is this white rectangle there. So what do I need? I need to stamp some grass. So I am going to, there we go, just get that. So acrylic blocks come in different sizes. I'm going black ink. Now I have done a fantastic job there of linking these together. But you know what? If it doesn't work out like that, it doesn't work out like that. So I'm just seeing, I'm not doing anything really. I'm just doing that. I'll try and keep my card as straight as I can. At least then I've got a chance of doing it. But because it's photopolymer, I can, I can tend to see what I'm doing, but I will admit that because I can't get right over the top of it. I'm not, it's not perfect, but you know what? It's good as, it's as good as. Get rid of that. I'd have a bit of paper under here normally. Right, so that is that. So I'm now going to get, so you could use any colouring equipment that you have, whether it's pencils, um, pens, anything like that. But I have these. These are my um, blends. Pens. So this is where the dye is in alcohol. Um, and I'm trying to think, I think I used dark. I'm going to go dark. Um, and they've got two ends, a brush tip end with a fat line and a bullet end with a thin line. I tend to use the bullet end and I'm just going to, I'm not going to be bothered about whether it goes over the edge or not. Although again, I should have a bit of paper. I tend to go round and in these bits. And then I am. Doo -doo -doo. This is why I didn't sit there and make you watch me colour in a five colour hat and cut it out by hand. I did that earlier. Little blue Peter style. So now I'm just going to colour in like this. And the great thing about alcohol inks um, is that all these kind of lines that you see tend to blend in together, as the name suggests, blends. So once I've kind of gone over them, now you can if you want to, it will dry really well, but if you want to add brush end and just add another bit there, we can. But can you see that? Look, there's hardly any brush stroke marks, which you can get um, with um, water-based um, pens. You can see all the streak marks that you make. Um, so I tend to go for blends for everything these days. Now, I've got myself a bit of scrap card here. So it's just white card. Um, and I'm going to stamp my um, turtle, tortoise, whatever you want to call him. So let's get him on an acrylic block. There we go. And again, I'm going to stamp him in black ink. So I'm taking the ink to the stamp. He's just an outline, so it's not too much that can go wrong. And if for any reason he doesn't come out properly, I've got a black pen. I can fill in any bits I miss. Um, but he's pretty good. Look at that. Very cute. Um, okay, then I want his shell. So I want the... It's time to celebrate. Very funny. <laughs> and that. So let's... Can we fit on those? There we go. There's one. And there's two. You will notice I have multiples of um, acrylic blocks because I run classes, but also for this reason as well. But once you've got them, you've got them for life. They are there all the time. So I am going to colour. I'm going to get my Granny Apple Green ink pad. So are you noticing at the moment how perfectly this ink goes with that pattern paper? Um, now we've got a different ink. We've got it water-based now. Um, and we're just going to stamp it and it's going to match perfectly again. That is the thing I love about stamping up and wish, oh, I can't see right over the top again. Wish stamping up had been around when I first started to um, make cards. It would have saved me a lot of money. <laughs> right, so that is stamped in the ink. Um, and then I'm going to use my um, blends again to colour in the rest of him. And again, I'm using the bullet tip end. I tend to do that the most. I'll move the card from paper. Fill in the gap. Now I'm going to punch this out, but the punch does leave a small white border. So I'm going to try my best not to go over the edge. But you know, this is also handmade. 
it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because if you're you would see that when I punched it out you wouldn't really see it now you could obviously use the, the pens come in a double pack and there's a light and a dark um, so that you could do shading I haven't done any shading on this I've just colored him in um, let's not get too technical I'm not the best coloring it color with regard to being artistic but I never claimed to be an artist <laughs> right and then we're going to have the it's time to celebrate so cute right so that's in black now I'm really going to sit there and struggle to uh, put this in the right I think it's all right in worst case it's a bit of paper and a bit of ink we can always do it again so pushing down oh i have got a comment afternoon ali there we go it's time to celebrate right almost done with my stamping there but that's that's it for stamping him so he is going to be punched out so this is a punch which works exactly like an office punch and um, they come locked you have to unlock them by pushing that bit and then they release and then it's literally just like using a, a hole punch at the office now if i was trying to match this up um, i wouldn't know if i just put him in there because the, the card slides in there um, just like i was punching two holes for for files and um, i couldn't see what i'm doing so always upside down and i'm going to move my bit of card until i'm happy so i'm going to line it up i want that white border all the way around oh i can't see <laughs> Oh, no, nearly had it. Oh, look, I can't see like this. That looks... Oh. Concentration. There. I think that's it. And I'm pushing on it very slightly to keep it in place. That's... Can you see that there? I can't see. No. <laughs> you can see what I'm going to do. So I just literally keep my palms out the way. Squeeze. Look how cute. He is. You could, of course, cut him out with a pair of scissors. That is no problem at all. Um, but for speed, especially if you're making more of these, or if you're not very steady with a pair of scissors, then the punches. Punches are the greatest. I love punches. Right, so now I'm going to just put him where I want him on my card because, and I'm going to bring in my sentiment because I've got a little bird to stamp. So I'm trying to get a feel for what space I've got for the bird that I can't find. Hold on, there he is. Bird. Okay, so a tiddly little acrylic block for that. So there's my bird and he's gonna sit on top there. So I need, this is Bermuda Bay ink, is the blue. Oh, uh, oh goodness me, that's quite new. So I'm just going to ink up my bird gentle tapping i'm not pushing really hard i can see him there and then oh <laughs> trying to do this again without well, i'm gonna go just above because i've got the space and i can move him up i can move my, my turtle up or tortoise up so that he sits on his back so that's that so mr turtle is on with dimensionals so, oh, one, put one on his head. And in fact, we do mini dimensionals as well. And although that probably could fit, I'm just gonna, if I choose a mini one for each of his feet, then I know. And of course I could cut these in half or quarters as well, but you know, I don't need to do that. So take off the backing. There we go. And now I can position him where I want him so it does look like the bird is on his back. doesn't matter if he's in the air a bit. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some glue to here. Now I'm only going to put it on about that side. And I'm going to put one dimensional on that side. Because... It's hanging off. Now, I, I, did, I don't think I did put one. I didn't put one under there. Depends on how much it's hanging off there. Um, it really doesn't matter. And in fact, I might have been wrong there um, because this isn't stuck down. So he's just stuck to this panel here. And this one is flapping. But let's bring my card back in. Let's put that to one side for a minute. This 
panel is flat, but again, you could add on dim dimensionals if you wanted to. There we go. There we go. And making sure he is in the center. There is a very fine dotted line that you probably can't see on there, um, but it's all good. Now, have I made a mistake here or not? Yeah, I have. Do you know what? I'm going to take that off and that's fine. I don't want that on there because it's not quite... There we go. I'm peeling it all off. It just... Look, rolling it and it just comes off. Just because there's not enough space for the dimension. It will be popping off the side of the card and I just want it over a little bit. So that glue is perfectly fine. I'm just lining up that with that bit there. Oh, look at me. Hold on. Get rid of that. Ooh. There, and hold that in place for a bit. Oh, forget, don't forget his hat. So that's the hat I did earlier. So I just stamped him in black and I coloured. So that's Bermuda Bay, Flirty Flamingo, Real Red, a tiny bit of pumpkin pie and a green um, bobble or pom-pom. Um, and I did cut that out by hand. As I say, you just you didn't want to sit and watch me do that. So I did that separately. And um, there are other things in there. What have we got in here? So there are some like um, party banners and things. So they could come down. You've got the hearts there as well um, that you could add. We could add a bow tie, um, anything you like on there really. Um, but a hat, party hat is good for me. And there's plenty of space there. So I'm just going to put that on his head. <laughs> there we go and no card would be um finished without a bit of bling what did i do with my bling there it is so always put bling on in odd the little bird is so cute isn't it in fact it's all so cute it's all very very cute um so i've got my self adhesive rhinestones i've got my tape pick tool with the putty on the end so I just literally slide that put one there slide that how easy is this what happened when we didn't have self-adhesive rhinestones? They pinged and pip clipped and went everywhere, didn't they? We glue everywhere. And there we go. That is our card. Let's get rid of all that for today. Bright, cute, love it. <laughs> what do we think? So you will see a full list of everything that I've used um, in the description. So if you sit at home and what did she say about that? Or what is that? Um, and you can have a look there. Um, I say Card Club finishes um, for bookings today. Today. So though that Card Club, do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> last day for booking today. Um, subscription is £20. You can get a one-off kit as well if you want to um, for £30 and um, if you want to trial it or, or you want to see what it's all about or you don't want to sign up for a subscription but you love this turtle kit you can do that as well and um, as I say otherwise that's it we're on to penguins next month um, I also have another class that will be coming out in the next few days which will be for the end of October um, I could give you a sneak should I should I I think I might be giving away far too much here where's my as a sneak peek of one of the cards in the class that's going to be the end of October so if you're on my email list you'll find out about that I will be posting on my socials as well um because not everybody wants to do Christmas all the time so I do kind of part half Christmas and half non-Christmas um, but a beautiful beautiful set of cards and um, with some real texture going on there as well um, so this is going to be the Harvest Meadow class that's going to be held the end of October. And as I say, um, bookings will be open in the next few days. Um, I'm waiting for Card Club to finish first and then the next couple of days I will launch this. It's open for just about a week, week to 10 days tops. Um, and you can book your spot on that. So watch out for full details for that. If you're not on my mailing list, um, why not? Crazy, crazy. <laughs> you get to find out everything that's going on there. Um, so go and sign up for my mailing list, which you should, again, should be in the description as well. I'll just quickly come back to me. Hello. <laughs> just thinking the camera's not there. The camera's there. Um, so if you've got any questions as ever, then um, please let me know. Ali loves the card. Thanks, Ali. Um, yeah, it's just, just cute, isn't it? 
cute, cute, cute. But yes, lots going on here at the Card Making Academy. So um, it's crazy times, crazy, crazy times. Courses and card club and classes and all sorts. Um, but I'm still here for you on a Wednesday. Watch me Wednesday. And as I say, on Saturday as well, it's my second to last celebration um, Saturday post. Oh, morning, Amy. <laughs> You've missed me. I've just finished. Um, I'm glad you saw the kiddie card, though. Um, and as I say, I will be updating my blog this afternoon with all the dimensions of everything that I've used um, on there. You can go and take a peek of that. I will post again on socials and that when you when I've done it. So um, that's it. Thank you for joining me. I will see you again next Wednesday. And um, I look forward to you joining me then and me joining you then. Thanks, Finn.